All right, guys, welcome to this video. And in this one, I want to talk about a process or a method that's going to allow you to simplify starting a business. You see, I work with hundreds of clients every single year in helping them start and scale successful businesses. And what I found is that a lot of people overcomplicate business when it really doesn't need to be uh, that overwhelming or confusing. And this process I'm going to share with you has helped our clients, it's helped myself uh, to gain multiple six figures in revenue. And I believe that by you implementing this strategy, you're going to get to your goals a lot quicker. And the reason for that is because basically you're going to be more focused. You're not going to be getting distracted by shiny pennies or confusing yourself or tripping yourself up. Okay. The way I like to explain this, first of all, is using actually Gordon Ramsay. Now, if you don't know who Gordon Ramsay is, Gordon Ramsay is a celebrity chef and basically he goes into restaurants and helps those restaurants that are failing to become more successful, more profitable, right? And one of the first things he does is go into these businesses and simplifies everything from the menu to the staff to the way they do things, the processes. And the reason for that is because Gordon knows, and now you know, that simple scales and complex fails. So this process I'm going to share with you is really going to help you, okay? The first pillar to this is one target customer. What I mean by that is one niche, one target customer where you're going to be focusing on solving their problems, okay? Now, the reason I don't say multiple target customers is because if you try and market to all these different people, your marketing is going to be a lot less effective. You're going to be overwhelmed. Your marketing is going to be more expensive. And starting up a business, you just don't need that. So one target customer. And by knowing that target customer and their problems, their pain points, that's going to really help you allow you to solve their problems okay so one target customer that's the starting point that's the first pillar that holds everything up okay the next one is one product basically one solution that is going to solve your target customers problems right so for us shift success we help primarily those from the public sector uh, more specifically ex and serving police officers so we've got a target customer the next step is one product. Now we run a business accelerator, which helps our target customer get from their problem to their solution. Okay, so that's what I mean by one product, not several products, not four products, one product. Okay, give yourself that focus. There's a great quote out there that says, if you try and catch two rabbits, you end up catching none, right? Uh, it's because you can't cover all things at the same time. So please do just focus on that one product. It's going to help you get there a lot quicker. The next process or the next step in the process, should I say, is one marketing method. Now, what I mean by this, it can be either organic marketing, so like your content marketing, or it could be uh, paid, such as uh, Facebook ads or search engine optimization, Google ads, it could be LinkedIn or YouTube ads, anything like that. So there's paid and organic. Now, uh, for us, we use both. They're both very effective, but you've got to see which works for your business because I don't know what your target customer is. And the best way to kind of solve this is to find out where your target customer are hiding. Really, really important because if you don't know where they are, then you don't know what marketing method you're going to use to you know, get your brand in front of them. Okay. One marketing method, go in on all that first uh, before expanding your marketing. When you expand your marketing, again, your costs are going to rise and it could you know, confuse things, especially starting out. Okay. So just one marketing method. And the next one, the next step in the process is one sales process. This basically means one way of getting or reaching out in front of your target customer. Okay. So this could be Facebook messenger. This could be picking up the phone because you're generating leads online. It could be Zoom or going to certain events, speaking to an audience, okay? Whatever it may be for you, follow that one sales process, one that works. I think a lot of people in the starting a business, they try and go for everything at once. And again, it gets overwhelming, gets confusing, and some things just don't work. So my recommendation is just going all in on that one sales process and make sure you understand the way that your target customer likes to be reached out to, okay? And the last step in all of this, and this might be a harder one to kind of keep to, is being patient, giving yourself at least one year trying these things for you to get to your goal, okay? Giving yourself that focus, that one target customer, that one product, that one marketing method, that one sales process long enough to work to get to your goals. Most people uh, try things, they quit, they can't face rejection and they quit, but that you're doing yourself a disservice. You just need to give yourself enough time to allow these things to kick in, okay? 
And of course, as you go on, make subtle tweaks, but don't change the entire plan or the process, okay? So guys, hopefully this has helped. Hopefully you've got value from this. If you have got value from this, please do give me a like and a subscribe. And also let me know in the comments below what kind of step in the process that you're struggling with. Is it one type customer? Is it one product? Is it the one marketing method or the one sales process? Or is it that you are not being patient with the process that you're building? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.